The next part to assemble is the Z axis top. Now, this is the right hand side. It's got the two, it's going to mount onto both these pieces of perspex. So just, just push that onto your, onto your plastic. can. A bit hard to get started sometimes. So just make sure it's lined up. And make sure it's flush with the top. And just mark your holes. Remove your component and, and then complete your holes. Then install your component. And your screw length again should should get most of the way through the plastic. So now we're going to do the left hand side. So grab your other piece, just make sure it fits on. Slide it on. Just mark your hole again. And just one thing to note when you're marking your hole, uh, make sure you drill through, drill through the side with the, where the screw head is, because the, the hole on the other side is actually a smaller diameter. If you drill that out with your four, four mil drill, you actually strip the plastic that you'd use to, to cut your thread with the screw. So just complete your hole. Install your part. going to measure the uh, distance between the two vertical plates and I'm just going to take that measurement now so and we measure measure it from the bottom just to get uh, the accuracy up so we're measuring 418 and now we're going to minus six from that because we need to minus the minus the thickness of the plastic on either side and the thickness of these bushes is three millimeters so if we minus 6 from 418, we get 412. And that's what we're going to cut our aluminum tube to. So this is the tube that's going to sit at the top. So next we're going to mark the, mark the tube to cut. This is a 25mm tube. It's going to mark the top at 412 millimeters, And we'll just use a pencil for that. And we want to be pretty accurate with this. So within a millimetre, otherwise your z-axis aren't going to be parallel. So 412. And then we're going to cut it. Um, easiest way to cut it is just with a with a tube cutter. It's a cheap uh, tube cutter, it's probably like five bucks. And just make sure you're using it the right way. So line the cutting wheel up with the mark.
just got to take that burr off. I'm going to take that burr off with the deburring tool. And we'll just check to make sure the bushes fit in the ends. I need to press them in. That one's fitting in. And that's it. So it's ready to mount. It's ready to mount onto the printer and will be mounted near the top. So now we're going to measure in um, 30 millimeters, or sorry, 35 millimeters from the end of the plastic. And we're just going to put a mark there and we'll, then we're going to come down 12 and a half millimeters to mark the position for the hole. So we'll just put a mark here. We'll probably just draw a little line down. Doesn't have to be too precise. I'll set my set my vernier to twelve and a half. And just mark the mark the position for the hole. Use it like a scribe a little bit. So next we're going to drill the hole. I've just put a two point five mil drill bit in the drill. And we're just going to drill that, that position. This is just a pilot hole for a larger drill bit. So find your, find your mark. Change your drill bit. Put it, now I've put in a 6.5 mil drill because uh, the rod's actually 6 mil. That's going to go through there. Just spun the printer around so you can see the other side. So we're just going to repeat. I'm going to measure in from the end of the plastic, 35 millimeters. Put a little mark again. And draw a line down. Mark down 12 and a half millimeters. And again, pilot drill with two and a half millimeter. Swap your drill for a six and a half. So we're just going to take a measurement now, uh, and we're going to cut our six mil, six mil threaded rod. So what we want to do is make sure the threaded rod is probably ten to fifteen millimeters longer on it on the outside of the plastic. So we'll just line our ruler up, and for this printer it's going to be about 460. It's 460 should be long enough, so you've got to give enough room for the washers and nuts on the outside. So now next we'll cut our rod to 460mm. So I've cut our rod, our 6mm threaded rod, to 460mm, and we're just going to install it now. So I'm just going to pull up our, our tube the bushes and thread uh, right through.
for the washer. Wash on there. And that. lined up and just use a 10 mil 10 mil wrench and a shifting spar in this case just tighten it up it should be nice and tight it shouldn't be able to spin that tube and that should stabilize everything